My name is Dennis Herrera, City Attorney of the City and County of San Francisco, but just as importantly, a member of the ACS Board of Directors. Our involvement in the issue of marriage equality um, uh, predated Proposition 8 okay. in terms of um, our office um, suing the state of California to state of California to say that its then existing um, uh, marriage laws discriminated against lesbian and gay individuals in California, which culminated in um, 2008 Supreme Court case, uh, California Supreme Court case that uh, struck down California's marriage laws and upheld our argument they were unconstitutional. Uh, Proposition 8 was uh, uh, put on the ballot in reaction to that decision uh, and after its passage we sued unsuccessfully in state court uh, and then joined with others, Ted Olson and uh, David Boys representing their individual plaintiffs. The city and County of San Francisco intervened and filed a federal court action uh, on which we got great results in the Northern District of California and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, which culminated in the uh, uh, argument before the United States Supreme Court uh, heard this spring. And it has been an honor and privilege uh, for our office to have been involved in what um, is um, uh, the civil rights issue of our time. And uh, we like to think that our involvement at least played some role uh, in really moving the debate and uh, uh, contributing to the tremendous progress that we have seen in, uh, with, with incredi incredible rapidity over the course of the last several years on the issue of marriage equality. And uh, I think the legal battle has helped inform uh, the, po the, par the political struggle that was going on on a parallel track. Before. We really didn't get uh, as much um, criticism for challenging Proposition 8 as much as we did at the time for suing the state of California to say that its existing marriage laws uh, at the time were unconstitutional and for defending uh, Mayor Gavin Newsom back in 2004 when uh, he instructed our, our clerk to issue marriage licenses saying that he had a duty to uphold uh, the Constitution. We did get uh, uh, um, criticism at that point, but uh, I think it's incumbent uh, for public law offices to, when no one else is stepping up, to step up and make sure that we do not abide discrimination. And I would just say that um, our approach has ultimately been followed by um, uh, the state of California and other states and the federal government who, ha who have, and the federal government who have refused on constitutional grounds to defend statutes in this area. So um, I, I think we were ahead of the curve, but it was recognition of uh, the moral role uh, uh, that public law offices have to step up and prevent discrimination when no one else is. I don't think we should ever be in the position of, a pri uh, of abiding discrimination and we've been uh, quite clear that we think that everybody is entitled to equal protection under the law irrespective of uh, sexual orientation. And I would just say um, for those that favor an incremental approach, I can remember back in 2004, many of those same individuals were saying that what was occurring in San Francisco was uh, too much, too fast, too soon. And as a direct result of that action, I think is what has led to the tremendous progress that has been made over the last several years. Uh, it's about being on the right side of history. It's about making sure that everybody is entitled to equal protection under the law. And um, uh, I think that while there's a political process going on, it was a direct result of um, uh, um, strong legal arguments and views that were uh, made known. Uh, so I'm not one who, uh, at least at this point, thinks that an incremental approach is something that we need to, to follow. I think it's time that we deal with this issue once and for all.